Go ahead, man. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Garrett Ian. We're in Keene, New Hampshire right now. And I was just about to go out Robin Hooding. I had my camera on me, some change, and some cards. And I was accosted by two state police officers. Their names are Joseph T. DeRusso and Aaron Gillis are the two state police that just stopped me. We saw them rolling around the CAC a few times and thought it was suspicious. When I started biking off, they stopped me on the corner. Started recording them as soon as I saw their car because it looked suspicious. And one of them got out. They were wearing shirt and tie. And uh, they told me they had a search warrant and they were going to be stealing my property from me. And um, I told them, why, I asked why and like under what grounds. And they said that I had allegedly recorded a conversation with court jester Thomas Mullins. He's the city attorney for the city of Keene. Really ridiculous that they're going after me for this. I posted a transcript of what I remembered of our conversation, uh, my conversation with Mr. Mullins a while ago. And um, his secretary actually was very upset the day I went in there after that. And she was like, did, did you record that? You remembered a whole lot of that conversation. Like they're getting on me about my good memory or something. It's ridiculous. So they don't have any evidence that I wiretapped this guy who's a city official anyway and shouldn't have this, this special elite privacy that he requests. Um, so I have these papers that they gave me. They're ridiculous. They don't even have the affidavit. It says, see attachment one. There is no attachment one. There's no probable cause listed in any of these items. I don't think they have any probable cause. Edward Burke is the name of the road man who signed off on this. Edward Burke has recused himself numerous times from supposedly free stater trials and uh, events because of his bias towards them. He's arrested people baselessly in the past for supposedly threatening him that were just asking him questions. Um, even though I'm not a free state project mover myself, um, when I was arrested in Manch PD on bogus charges two years ago that I beat in court, um, they put on my rap sheet that I had a gang affiliation with the Free State Project. So this whole thing seems like the, the upper class is able to mess with us because they don't, they don't need to be on the record, they don't need to be accountable. There's no record of uh, what just happened now because my camera was stolen even though I was recording. Um, so this is totally ridiculous. They're, it's only going to make them look even more foolish when they find that there is no recording of this, uh, this event that they've stolen my camera from me for. Um, I'm hoping to get my camera back as soon as possible. I'm going to be telling them, take whatever you want off it and give it back. That's my property. I use that to work. I need that to, to do what I do every day. Uh, stealing that from me is limiting my free speech, my free press abilities. And uh, so this is totally ridiculous. We're going to be following up with these gangsters and seeing what level of accountability we can get back from them. As you can see, it's difficult to get just about anything from them when they're stealing your accountability devices. Could you go in a little bit of background why you were uh, had a conversation with Mr. Mullins in the first place? Oh, well, Mr. Mullins is suing myself and five others for filling parking meters in downtown Keene. Um, myself and five others, in fact, uh, one of them isn't even involved with Robin Hooding, but the rest of us go around sometimes, we'll fill parking meters and make sure that nobody gets a ticket in uh, Keene during the day. Um, so for this, they're suing us and claiming that we're harassing parking enforcers. They haven't given any evidence of what the harassment is. They recently just put up this ridiculous video that has about 85 cuts in it um, over the course of about 12 minutes, and it's just little snippets of conversations that don't really amount to anything or provide any context. I mean, these guys are clowns. They know it. They, they just know that if they fill out paperwork, they got their buddies that will take care of all that for them. It's a big network in the city of Keene, um, and it's unfortunate that there's so, so much concentrated power there, but the more we expose it, the more feeble these people feel in their position, and the more they act out like they are here, you know, acting out with these silly charges and stealing things from people that don't belong to them. So this incident just happened, and I know you're uh, moving forward now. Where can folks go to, ch to uh, stay abreast and maybe help out? Freekeen.com, definitely. If you want to look at more on Robin Hooding, uh, Facebook.com slash Keen Robin Hood. And, um, yeah, in this case specifically, I blog on freeconquer.org. So anything you go to Freeconquer to Freekeen, you're going to find updates on this case. All right. Thanks much, brother. Yeah.